5 seconds to go start it was rightly contended by learned counsel for the state that the trial court had proceeded in the matter rather casually and there was no proper application of mind or even discussions regarding all the relevant evidence on record since the trial court had failed to properly analyze the evidence the high court was duty bound to examine the matter in greater detail and to record its conclusions it is true that when on the evidence brought on record two views are possible and the court has taken a view which is possible interference by the appellate court would not be proper but where the consideration reflects total non application of mind interference is not only desirable but proper we find that extra judicial confession which was claimed to be before pws 5 and 6 was unjustifiably discarded by the trial court the evidence of pw 6 was discarded on the ground that he was not very close to the accused and not a person on whom the accused could repose confidence it is brought on record that the accused and pw 6 were in fact at earlier point of time classmates and schoolmates they also used to live close to each other obviously it is not impossible that the accused could repose confidence on him the extra judicial confession before pw6 was clear cogent and appears to have been made in the normal course without any pressure the conduct of the accused after the incident and discovery of blood stained articles and the mangal sutra have been established by tendering cogent evidence the presence of blood in the nail clippings of the accused was also a vital circumstance as noted by this court in rajiv rai versus state of odisha 2003 9 scc 310 the presence of blood in the nail clipping may not be sufficient by itself to fashion guilt on the accused but when it is considered with other evidence and found acceptable can provide additional weightage to the prosecution case the trial court did not seem to consider objectively the evidence in the right perspective and had merely on surmises and conjectures without proper application of mind directed acquittal the high court analyzed the evidence in greater detail and exhaustively having regard to the perfunctory manner of consideration undertaken by the trial court we find no infirmity in the reasoning indicated by the high court to discard the view of the trial court the disclosure made in the post mortem examination as to the nature of injuries found on the body of the deceased would be lie the claim of drowning or death by suicide any affirmance of the judgment of the trial court in this case would have resulted in grave miscarriage of justice the judgment of the high court though one of reversal was well merited supported by sound reasons and based on overwhelming evidence and therefore does not warrant interference appeal is accordingly dismissed the bail bonds of the accused are cancelled and he shall surrender to custody to serve remainder of sentence stop